F1 2022, or now what they call F1 22, has officially been announced and it is around the corner. So today we will be discussing what's new, what's uh, around the corner, what can we expect in this uh, new game and the new installment to the F1 official game series. So let us begin by going through the trailer that just got announced. Okay, the features here Codemasters and EA Sports. Next generation. Yeah, the new car. Racing. Redefined. Okay. Rivalries renewed. I mean, this just looks like a F1 2022 official car, like, release video. So, pre order now, July 1st, 2022. That's literally a couple months away. So, we're not too far away from it. So let's take a look at the official website now. So this is how it looks. It looks pretty good. Entering the new era. Pre-order uh, F1 22 Champions Edition by May 16th and re re receive the Miami theme tip content pack. New season, new rules. Okay, the new car models are in. Looks like they got the pink and blue Alpine, Alpha Terry, the McLaren. So they probably have all of that sorted take your seat for a new season as a redesigned cars and overhaul the rules redefine race day with the authentic 2022 lineup race day redefined take control of your virtual f1 experience with immersive and broadcast options for pit stops formation laps and more Ooh, so we can change the camera angles for these because one of the things that i missed from the old f1 games was that you could get customized pit stop uh, graphics like you would get these cool camera angles but then those disappeared when the um, release thing happened so like when you go into the pits you can really time your release right so once that happened the cool graphics disappeared the new era has arrived prepare to take your seat okay okay that's the end of the website Let's read more about this. Let's see. Enter the new era of Formula One in EA Sports F122. The official video game of the 2022 FIA Formula One World Championship. Take your seat in a new season as redesigned cars and overall rules redefine race day. Test your skills around the new Miami International Autodrome and get a taste of the glitz and glamour of Formula One and F1 life. Okay, so F1 life seems to be a new aspect of the game. Here's all the info you need. Okay, so release date. We know it's July 1st on PlayStation ps4 ps5 xbox series s and x xbox one pc via the ea app origin steam and epic store three days earlier if you pre-ordered the champions edition okay that's good to know what's new new season new rules take your seat yeah we've read that new handling that's cool new handling model that's most needed indeed because the cars do feel kind of uh, rusty to, to some degree the handling isn't the greatest intense wheel to wheel racing that is on edge of our seats in the 2022 season talent amongst the iconic florida palm trees the 19 challenging corners of the vibrant new miami international autodrome that's good to know that they're adding the new tracks for the season so yeah this is going to be interesting race day redefined new race options in 20 uh, f122 will give you more control over your virtual f1 race day with the opportunity to choose between immersive and broadcast style formation lamps safety car periods and pit stops so that means there will be new camera angles probably and you know it's always boring i always cut those out uh in videos you guys will see if you guys watch my my team and driver career mode series i always cut out the safety car period because it's literally me sitting in the car and driving laps until the safety car comes back in but if this is what i think it means we are going to be able to see some cool new angles maybe like a helicopter shot maybe like different uh camera angles from the nose maybe if something happens like you know uh towards the back of the grid maybe someone spins or something we'll get like you know uh, a graphic saying oh something happened in the back or something like that that would be actually very cool to have vr capability or uh, compatibility is coming too that is going to be interesting i don't have a vr headset so sadly i won't be able to participate in this uh vr uh part of the game but that is going to be cool like your actual experience is going to be like sitting in the cockpit of a f1 car so that'll be very cool to have it'll be like a real life simulator experience f1 life here it is this is the new thing that got added to the game get a taste of the glitz and glamour of formula one in f1 life a new space for you to unlock and show off supercars interesting what supercars do you think we'll be able to see clothing accessories and more for the world to see so there's going to be collectibles i guess they're trying to add that uh in basketball with the nba 2k 
series has that kind of like customization so I guess you could customize your your driver to some degree with clothing and accessories and super cars that'll be cool returning features of course my team and career mode will return that is good fresh new features okay there will be new features i'm excited to hear what that would be about two player split screen we knew about that f2 yeah it was there online multiplayer and all the features you know and love okay and otherwise yeah this is the pre-order um champion edition pre-order would mean three days early access get f122 new era content life starter pack and my team icons and 18,000 pet coins interesting i don't know if it's worth it but it is what it is so we've got some additional notes here and let's take a quick look and see what we have in store so this is going to be interesting we look forward to welcoming our players to the new era of formula one said lee mather f1 senior creative director at codemasters alongside the real world changes we have updated the physics to accommodate the new aero rules and rework the tire model that's going to be interesting tire wear is going to be completely changed then with new aero rules means that probably there'll be different um impacts on damages as well as how the car interacts with tracks probably maybe um i'm also wondering if they added like wind physics to the game a little bit you know uh we do hear a lot of drivers complain about wind so i wonder if that's going to be included because it, it seems like there's no wind at all in uh, the current f1 games making the handling more true to life which is a very big plus uh, with new and updated circus adaptive ai Okay, Adaptive AI, I'm curious to know what that is. F1 Live, of course, we saw earlier and expanded gameplay options. There have never, there has never been a better time for players to take their seats and live the life of an F1 driver. Okay, that's some positive news from the team, but of course, they'll embellish it to try and sell copies here. So here is something about the immersive gameplay, the thing about the Formation Live Safety Car and Pit Stops. Select immersive and players will face risk-reward challenges, which could be the difference between a place on the podium or finishing outside the points wonder what that would be i'm not quite sure they're teasing something here um so i guess they're trying to get rid of the mundane aspect of pit stops and safety car periods i think the pit stop might be something along the similar lines of penalties in f1 or fifa so in fifa if you guys have time to finish on you see that green bar with the like red gradients on each side and then you have to time it as soon as the bars hit green i think it might be that kind of result like in the pit stop the pit crew is gonna lift you up and change your tires and then you have to time the drop and your acceleration perfectly so i think that's what the immersive experience could be uh, that's one of my thoughts safety car periods maybe a similar aspect to when the safety car restart happens you get that bar again so that you have the optimal release i really don't want it to be a like a boost kind of thing from gt5 kind of thing that would really take out of the whole experience so hopefully it's not that uh, but that is the only thing I can think of. Yeah, you see, this is what I'm talking about. Broadcast takes the pressure off with controlled and authentic cinematics that keeps players close to the action. So that is good to see. That's going to make all of the safety car periods a lot more fun. Pit stops as well. So those are going to be embellished and made a lot more fun, which is important. And of course, we got the VR stuff here. Okay, here's the thing about adaptive AI. Keeps less experienced players competitive throughout each race with opposing AI drivers tailored to match the skill level. Accessible menus and handling also returns to help players get the action quickly without the need to understand the complexities of the sport the refreshed practice programs offer more variety with new scoring systems and on-track visualizations this helps players navigate each twist and turn to perfection before racing for all those important um for those all important championship points so i guess um the problem is with a lot of drivers is that sometimes you want to get faster on track you want to practice uh, but the game just doesn't help you at all uh, the racing line is absolute trash in the games right now so i guess they've updated it so that it could help you find ways to get faster the one thing that i really wanted to find in the game was when you run practice programs to be able to get feedback from jeff you know or the crew say uh, hey you're slow in turn 14 or turn 12 um it only happens in one of those practice programs it's the uh, track acclimatization because it's clear that you're green or red in certain turns but it doesn't help me find a way to get purple uh so i want to see if it's possible that the ai jeff etc can help me 
find time saying hey here's the telemetry data for example telemetry data would be very cool to have in the game so i wonder if that's what they're trying to talk about here that would be cool adaptive ai again i guess that is uh there's not going to be 110 ai or something it's just going to be a AI and then if you're fast the AI is going to get fast if you're slow AI is going to slow down to your pace so I wonder how good that will be that's new technology to be honest so we will test it out once that goes live F1 also boasts enhancements to returning features yes my team allowing players to choose their starting budget based on three entry points newcomer challenger and front runner this is most interesting indeed as well. So I guess this is all difficulty levels pretty much. Front runner easy, challenger is normal, and the newcomer is hard. Definitely want the newcomer one because I want to be like really back of the grid and fight my way to the top as my team has been in the past. The game sees real life track updates uh, to Australia, Spain, and Abu Dhabi. That's good to see. So they're going to update the tracks. Of course, these tracks have been updated. Turns have been changed, so whatnot. F122 also features a critically acclaimed 10-year career complete with two player options so online multiplayer two player career mode is available again and multiplayer is back for epic races against the global racing community so again nothing much on multiplayer again but one thing that is missing is breaking point i'm a bit upset that breaking point is not going to be in this uh, game that was a lot of fun uh to play and i thought they would add breaking point to some degree but anyway it's no big deal to be honest if they miss out on breaking point i don't mind at all maybe we'll be teased a breaking point point kind of video soon maybe next month or the month after before the game releases we might be teased a little you know a sprinkling of uh teaser trailers coming out about it but i doubt it considering they haven't added anything about it but i guess you could say to some degree that breaking point got replaced by f1 life which seems to be like an online lobby uh something like vr chat or something where you can meet other people and show off your you know race cars your outfits accessories and whatnot so that'll be cool I wonder what would happen to customization because you guys will know that on my team I customize all the liveries I make it myself I upload it to the game and I uh, play with that I wonder what happens to that kind of idea it's going to be difficult to really customize anything then uh, because I guess they would manage or try to uh, control all the customizations you do especially with f1 life being a thing because they they wouldn't want textures from you know packs that they don't control right if the game actually has some decent sponsorships and real life looking things maybe even the customization system of gran turismo for example if they had that in the game i don't think i would struggle so much with customizing my own things i would just customize in the game that'll be very cool to have so hopefully fingers crossed that is what we can expect but overall i must say this is a good looking good start for the game life cycle I, i'm excited to see how this game will start off not quite sure if i'll be able to play three days before because things may be looking interesting over the summer but i'll definitely be jumping on as soon as i can and as soon as i have the time this is going to get exciting definitely definitely going to be exciting a new era of formula one with the new cars new designs but also a new era of the game as well we also have manager coming out f1 managers also around the corner which i will try to dip my hand into so once that comes out i will see if i can get that as well and i'll be doing a series on that as well so this is gonna be an exciting summer for f1 fans and f1 gaming fans as well so excited to see what we can see what we can look forward to in the near future but that is it for today's video hope you guys are excited for the new game as well let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think what you guys are optimistic of and what you guys are a little disappointed by uh, i would love to hear your thoughts but we will see if there's more news coming out of codemasters in the near future so i'll make more videos on that if you guys are interested thank you guys so much for your time today thank you so much for watching let's keep the hype up take care of yourselves stay safe stay healthy i'll see you guys in the next video